If you watch the Disney Channel or any of the other channels like Nickelodeon or the Kids Channel, if you watch any of the movies, you often see uh, and hear about uh, the geek in the class and how they're isolated. Um, uh, recently, uh, there was um, uh, Ryan Reynolds, uh, uh, no, I think Debbie, Debbie Ryan, sorry, Debbie Ryan uh, from uh, Sweet Life of Zack, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, or now Jesse. Uh, she did a uh, movie called Radio Rebel, and it's about how the geek and, in, and introverted people uh, can stand up and be themselves and sort of overcome uh, the the criticisms uh, that come from the outsider, from the Mean Girls. And as much as this uh, sort of is in the media and in talking about in schools and and so on and so forth. There are very few geeks who actually stand up and say, yeah, I'm a geek, and, 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 and sort of showcase themselves in such a way that other people can see uh, what they've gone through and how they deal with it. Uh, and I decided that uh, as I was uh, getting involved with, uh, with uh, another girl on, uh, on the internet, particularly through YouTube and then through uh, Twitter and uh, Tumblr, uh, she set up a uh, support group called uh, help stop cutting for people who cut themselves. Uh, so I, I showed her what I did and that, that uh, I'm a geek, I'm standing up and ch doing what I, you know, showing what I go through, that I do get hater comments on a regular basis and uh, so on and so forth. So this is sort of along these lines here. It's from a comment that, that came in about a couple months, about, yeah, about a month ago, sometime in July. Uh, from a per, from a, uh, a YouTube channel, is there actually two girls, uh, Marissa and uh, Melanie, uh, and their channel is Bubbles One One Two Nine Three, and they use the term uh, first they use the term nerd, uh, called me a nerd, and then I sort of made fun of it and did like and did a kind of jokey video uh, yelling at them saying that you know instead of writing the word nerd, why don't they use it do a rant video and yeah, you know, scream, run, you know, put more effort into calling me a nerd. They're gonna hate, you know, hate properly, you know. It was, it was a joke. But then they start taking it to the point where uh, they call me pervert. They call me uh, a pedo bear. Uh, a, a, a sort of uh, alluding to the fact that, or, or saying that I was, I was a pedophile. Apparently, they reported me to somebody. Uh, I wasn't too sure exactly who they reported, me, but it, it didn't really matter uh, because it came to no effect, anyways. Uh, because I don't, I don't do that to people. I don't uh, uh, write these comments on there. I go onto people's channels, regardless of how old they are, uh, just to see if there's something interesting. If there's something interesting, then I'll say, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll like it, give them a comment, rate, subscribe, as they ask you to. That's what they do on YouTube. And it's not because of anything specific. It's just because they ask you to, and then I like the channel. So it, but they kind of read anything more into it, and they started, you know, putting out these. Uh, what I could call hater hater comments, and it got to the point where, and it is now that um, I was wondering what was going on. I give an example of some of the comments that came in just recently. Actually, actually, I was uh, I had left uh, uh, middle of the month, middle of July, and they kept posting after the middle of July, uh, and the comments were. Uh, and this is from another girl, not from Bubbles One. This is from another girl who's associated with them. Uh, it says, Ooh, you're so ugly and so fat, clean your house. And, and, and it, 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 along those lines here. And, you know, I was wondering you know, who they were, who, you know, uh, what they're like and stuff like that. So as I've come back today, uh, uh, I went to see who they were, to see what their web, you know, YouTube channel. And I went through a couple of the videos. They seem like nice girls. And on the video, they seem like nice girls. And one of the girls, uh, I think it's Melanie. No, it's uh, Marissa had this to say. Also, I hate when people don't respect each other. Just saying. Okay. So... You'll hear that again? I know. I Also, I hate when people don't respect each other. Just saying. Well, that's what she said here. And now I'll give you an idea of what she said. Uh, <laughs> uh, her conversations as it comes in, right? Someone wrote in here, uh, 
and, and, and this doesn't make sense. I checked this the way, guys. It's uh, uh, Punter Gooder. Uh, uh, Putter Gooder. Put, no, no. Putter Gutter. Uh, and they've got no subscribers. They're basically it's a dead site. It's someone come out to do a rant. And it's just. Uh, for one of my videos on nerds, uh, it, 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 and they write, it, no, again, that's a rambly sen sentence. It seems like you don't know the word nerd because you're one plus everyone who's, who can speak English knows what it means. Well, if you can figure that out, that sends out what that sentence is trying to say. Good luck, tell me, let me know. And, uh, of course, Bubbles11293 uh, says, true that, and put a smile to it. Uh... And then someone said here, Grr, that's me, take this video down. And again, there's no particular, why, why is it me, or whatever, you know. Uh, then, uh, <laughs> Bubbles chimes up and says, what an asshole, uh, and BTW, you're, fuck you're, you're a fucking nerd, and stop liking your own videos. It's pathetic. P pathetic is spelt wrong. Uh... Then this is here, Lowe's, you're an idiot, you don't know what, you don't know what a nerd is. Uh, and then, there's some more stuff here, it, 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 it basically, I'll like, show you how it is up here, here someone that chimes, that chimes in, in support, it says, says strawberry, uh, uh, stra strawberry, uh, Taurus, chimes in, Low, love it. Uh, uh, this little angel needs parental supervision, I'm, af uh, I'm afraid. And her, the response from Bubbles is this. Really, how does this comment say need, uh, need, need, uh, parental su supervision? Uh, and by the way, or BTW, my cousin left the comment, bitch, not us. Instead of going on YouTube or YT all day, why don't you go and give your, uh, your fucking kids uh, uh, on parental supervision uh, because they need it because you on YouTube all day long not uh, doing call not and don't call us angels you bitch in other words there this is from that nice girl that you heard say This. Also, I hate when people don't respect each other. Just saying. Okay. Okay. From that, you heard. Well, that is the conversation that was that was there. I mean, you can go see this for yourself. Uh, I'll post a link to the, vi the video down below uh, that it, that this is the comment on. Uh, and. All of a sudden, what you're seeing is that they're now starting to judge people, n not because they know them, because of what they think of they th that they are. They, they have no idea. They've never seen me say anything bad to them. They've never had a, a private message from me with with inappropriate with, with something that's inappropriate or pictures of myself or anything like that. I've never done that to anybody. But their assumptions have gone to that particular point where they uh, are standing in the position of a bully. And I think it's, uh, this is, these are comments that I get often, uh, a lot of comments like this, so it doesn't bother me. I, I've been getting this all my life. I've been treated as different, as bizarre, strange, and so on and so forth. Uh, so it's not an issue to me that this would actually happen. Uh, where, what I'm, the whole point of this video is to show that while I do have these haters, and haters are people who hate people for no particular reason. They judge them without actually knowing them. It's not as if someone had come up and done something to you or was acting inappropriate or was making inappropriate comments. That's different. Because there are people out there who are like that. There are pedos out there. There are uh, perverts out there who do make comments on girls, or inappropriate comments on girls' websites. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about people who don't do anything, who are just trying to be nice, general, genuinely nice, without expecting anything in return, and yet get dumped on simply because they not they don't look like what these people think that they should look like. 
In other words, I don't look like the typical person that they should feel that, that I sh they feel that, well, yeah, they're on YouTube, but I shouldn't be watching their videos. Yet their videos are public. And they're upset because I'm watching their videos. Or they're upset because I'm watching some other girls' videos. And yet, these videos are out on, on, on YouTube for the public to see and to comment on. But this seems to upset them. And without knowing who I am, and without even, toward, you know, giving me any benefit of the doubt, they go out and say what they say. But then again, that's how I look. I look like a geek. I look like a nerd. I'm not the cute, uh, handsome type of guy. So, of course, the immediate line is that he's a pervert. So, do I take this and say and, look, uh, and go out and start cutting myself? No, because I said I've dealt with this before, and as many people that I've had do this to me and say this about me, I've also met a lot of nice people on YouTube uh, and, and throughout my life. And if I dwelt and just simply looked at the bad stuff and ignored the good stuff, and that's what actually happens sometimes. Sometimes you can focus so much on the bad stuff that you don't see the good stuff that happens to you. And you become depressed and you start cutting yourself or, you do, or, or worse. These things that happen to you because of haters, because of people like Bubbles, uh, uh, bu Bubbles uh, 112, you know, M Melissa and, and, and Melanie who are Bubbles uh, 11293. When you encounter people like this, who won't let you sit at their lunch table, who shun you because they think you're different or whatever, whatever their particular reason is. This is not something to get upset about in terms of that you'll never have friends. It's just that sometimes if you're isolated and you're by yourself, you are a different person. And I was different. Uh, I am different than everybody else. I'm not the same as every other guy. I, when I was a kid, I didn't like wrestling with the, with, with, with the boys. I didn't like playing the sports. I like I like skipping rope with the girls. That was my. Uh, I was at a time when boys weren't supposed to. Do it. I was one of the one of the few boys in class who took a, uh, who took a babysitting class. I was one of maybe two boys in there. That's who I was, and I was, I've never been ashamed of who I am. And this is what has to happen to people who are cutting themselves, who are feeling lonely, who are feeling isolated. You need to lose the shame you have for yourself and say that this is who I am. And if you want something different for yourself in terms of improving yourself, fine, do that. But just understand that if you don't have a good feeling about yourself in terms of not being ashamed of yourself, I'm not going to talk about being narcissistic or, and thinking highly of yourself. I'm talking about simply being happy with, or somewhat happy with who you are. If you can't get to that point there, then, then what's going to happen, things are going to get worse for you. And it's not because things are necessarily bad. It's just because the perspective, the way you see things, isn't the way it should be. Everybody has good points. Everybody I've met who, who have been isolated, who haven't been with the crowd, who were different, they're all great people. And this is what, they, what they, if I start isolating myself and start preventing myself from meeting people because they might reject me, then I meet, I don't get the benefit of seeing something nice in a person or seeing something different or seeing something interesting. I've found everybody I've met, even the bad people I've met, have things that are interesting and nice about them. And if you're the type of person that walls yourself off or, or, or locks yourself away, you're going to miss this. Pain is part of your life. Pain is part of what makes you feel alive. Being maybe being rejected, being not, you know, being not being part of the crowd. And there are benefits to this. There are benefits to not being part of the crowd. I know people who are more part of the crowd and still are part of the crowd, and they say to me, Daniel, I don't know how you do it. You can stand up there and be your own person. I, I could never do anything like that. And it lets me know that, you know, these people who are part of the crowd, they're afraid to stand up and say what they think. They're afraid to stand up and see what they think. They're afraid to be their own person. I'm not. And as I go through it, as I go through what I go through on a daily basis, and I'm putting this out there not to be mad at these girls. I'm not mad at the girls. I never was. What I initially put out was a joke. It was intended to be, you know, sarcasm. But, you know, if you 
if you dwell on the bad stuff and you only look at the bad part of these people, then you never see the good side of things. And it's for your own self, if you just want to look at it this way, that you need to see not that every part of a person is, but, but the good things in people and that there are good things in life and good things within yourself and that's where you're going to start that's where you're going to work from and as you do this and it's not going to be easy there are going to be bad days there are going to be really bad days then you can start saying you know what i don't need to cut myself i i can feel life i can go out and feel the rain i can go out and get wet in the rain i can you know stand and feel the thunder i can feel music i can feel all these different things. and you can feel as you start feeling all the different things around you then the deadness in your life, the emptiness in your life, the sadness in your life goes away. And you don't need to cut yourself anymore. You don't need to hurt yourself. You don't need to take the, that, that step that says, I'm not worth anything anymore. Life isn't worth living and then taking your life like that. This is what this video is for. This is for the help stop cutting, help stop cutting. This is for those who are in pain, who are isolated, who feel alone, who are geeks, who are nerds, or whatever you've been labeled as a society, as you've been labeled and kicked out of society, if this is who this is for. I've been there. I know what it's like. I know how it feels. And I also know that there is better on the other side. You don't have to cut yourself. You don't have to hurt yourself. You don't have to kill yourself. And I know there are very few people standing up and saying this. They're not saying, this is who I am. There are very few people who will stand up and say, I'm a nerd, I would make fun of, and explain what they went through in life. There are many nerds who are afraid to stand up and say this, that they're a nerd. They're not comfortable with who they are yet. That's a hard thing to do. It's not an easy thing to do, but it's doable. And if you want a better life, if you want to start feeling better, then there are ways to do that. And so that's why this video... Being Geek, Bubbles11293, Dash, Prayers, Prayers, Pedo Bears, and Haters are going to... Professor of what? Professor of physics. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.